is the soundtrack of a better world. We are one. Welcome to the Progressive Birdhouse. It is the month of the fish. Well, for those of us that are Pisces anyway, happens to be my favorite month. And thank you so much to Origami Griffin for resubscribing. I'm sorry to hear you're feeling under the weather right now. Uh, you too, Aledra Fur, thank you very much for staying on board. We got a lot of new music queued up for this progressive birdhouse, but this one I played plenty of times. I'm caught in your spice? Whatever. And just like that, I have to talk over the vocals again. All aboard the hype train. Holy cow, you guys have started early once again and already broken level two. We are into level three right now with this hype train. Thank you so much for pushing it so fast. Holy cow, Jackal W404 gave out 10 gift subscriptions. Bam, bam, bam. And like that, we're already starting in on level five. So you're going to get two original tracks during the pre-show. Matt C188 wanted an original track. Jackal W4, uh, Jackal W404 wanted some singing. So for those of you that are new here, this is how this works. Every time a hype train starts on this channel, we start with an engine shot. If we make it past level three, which we already have, we uh, play an original track. And just like that, hype train level five. We're already into level six. Every multiple of level five thereafter, we take a caboose shot. So I need somebody to spin the wheel of Sockies for me, and then I need somebody else. Oh, it looks like Takala Mackerwolf got the engine shot. It's going to be the Camelot Mead. Somebody needs to spin it again. Oh, Takala, you spun it the first time. Let's let somebody else do it now. In the meantime, enjoy some Mihai love while I grab that first bottle. Man, I'm going to need some fire retardant gear for all these rocket trains around here. Okay, Irene Bird spun it as well as everybody else, but Irene Bird got to it first. It looks like it's going to be the uh, Hoshi. So here it goes. If you're toasting along with me, now's the time. Oh, the Camelot Mead here was provided by Pup Casey here in the chat, and it is going quick. You guys and your rocket trains are making sure that none of this sake ever goes bad ever again. The Hoshi here I bought myself just because I was curious, and uh, this one was made in Hollister, California. So you're already most of the way through level six. So here's to you, my friends, for getting things started very early once again and pushing that train so fast. The uh, the the plating on the sides has come off. Cheers. Oh, I want to savor that for just one second. Because it is so very good. Thank you, Pop Casey, for sending this my way. And once again, here's to all those of you out there right now 
We're feeling the crush of winter upon you here in the Northern Hemisphere. That bright sunlight is just around the corner, so hang in a little bit longer. Hold on to somebody to keep warm if you have to. If you can't find anybody, well, we got you here in the chat, fam. Cheers. So we got two minutes left on that clock and the train is solidly into level six in a matter of all, like mere seconds. I mean, look at it. Look at it go. That is absolutely incredible. So that means I will be getting to an original track and another original track with some singing. And don't worry, Alien Dude 777, there will be a rainbow color blast, but I only got so many hands and so much attention span. And just like that, uh, Kiara Kitten tossed out five gift subscriptions, pushing us into level seven now. Oh, and for some reason, the display went away. I knew the robots would, the robots would get busy with me at some point or another. But that clock is now reset, and you got another four and a half minutes to see if you can make level eight. Thank you so much.
Well, that train is still rolling with two minutes left here in the middle of level seven right now. I can't believe it. Every single time this happens, I am stunned. Thank you so very, very much. But of course, since we broke level three, like almost instantly, it's time for an avian invasion original. As a matter of fact, we are currently in the process of working on a new album around here. My mastering engineer, Adi, has uh, already gotten a couple of the tracks ready to go, and we are working on more every single day. He's got a lot on his plate, though, so hopefully, hopefully we can get it done before spring. But this is the title track, Into the Trees. with me into the dark holding up the light for all to see summoning the spirits of the weary weighted down by fears and needs I can say with utmost confidence that we are lighter than the breeze so let's dance together up and down this forest with the birds and with the bees and we'll head into the trees. Oh, hey, thank you very much, Rock Pup, for tossing 2345 into that tip jar. as you know every time we make it to one of those thousand dollar marks either moon <laughs> moonshine or malort goes into the bird <laughs> right here on camera and holy cow kind of looking forward to it very much not looking forward to it As you are naked as the day we came to be Leaving what we are behind Wearing only what we choose to see I can say with utmost confidence That you are beautiful to me So let's dance together Showing all the world We won't stay quiet on our knees We'll head into the trees.
once again, thank you guys so much for that level seven hype train. I can't believe how far you pushed it so freaking quickly. And thank you once again to Rock Pup for helping out with the uh, the new Mac fund. My Hackintosh has been making some uh, funny noises and funny decisions lately. So I could get a Mac for cheaper than this. Somebody commented on how expensive Macs were, but I'm actually looking to spec out something not quite like video editing pro grade, but something a, a, a little bit more than the base model. Thank you very much. And four grand seems about right, considering you also have Washington State taxes, uh, the Apple Care, you know, warranty and all that, shipping and all that. So here we go. Avian Invasion Original. Hybrid 666 Wolf with another 420 in the tip jar. Nice. Thank you so much. We are a long way from that moonshine shot, though. Thank God. That one's a stream ender, that is. Thanks for another 420, Matt C.
Hey, uh, and in the middle of all that, thank you, Glidepath, for tossing in another 222 as well. I'm not sure how far that puts us, but it'll show up every so often down here at the bottom, so keep your eyes peeled. If you'd like to help, you can always throw something in at avianinvasion.com slash tip jar, even if all you want to do is destroy my liver. Which is, uh, it's indestructible, by the way. The birds made sure of that when they rebuilt me. Don't test that, though. But hopefully by the time I get my new actual studio built, I'll have a new Mac studio to power it with. So thank you so much for your support. Time for a little Raffaella and Night Lapse. Taiwolf just tossed in 2371. That looks like it brings us up to 6747 already. Goodness. After a level 7 hype train, you guys are still going. I can't believe this. Thank you so very much. up another dollar uh, 53 from star odd and 222 from rock pup thank you very very much look at that little bar hit that bar it's a long goal you're not gonna break this tonight I, unless like spotty's tuned in or something but you're not gonna break that goal tonight but little by little that will fill up and thank you so much for helping uh, keep my studio running hopefully we can bust that goal before the hack and tosh finally just craps out on me trying to get way ahead of this one. Oh my goodness, and thank you so much Techno Connects people for raiding in with 60 people. Not entirely sure why the raid thing didn't come in. Ah, there she is. All right. 
Okay, I was gonna just gonna argue with the robots for a second there. So thank you very much for dropping in and bringing in all of your friends along with you. Please do me a favor. We are trying to push for partner here in the Progressive Birdhouse. So uh, refresh that page without the little raid referrer up on top, or you can just hit Avian Invasion on Twitch. I'm just happy you're watching, but the folks at Twitch, they actually care about this kind of thing. And I care about Houseman. Oh, hey, and Ty the Fox has tossed 20 bucks into the hack into the uh, the Mac Studio Fund. We're almost up to 100 bucks already. Thank you so much. chosen Kitar. tossing in just enough to push us up to an even hundred. We're still a long way off from breaking the goal, but now we're 10% of the way to that first moonshine shot already, just in one show so far. Oh boy. It's taunting me over here on the counter. A hundred and, what, 115 proof or whatever it is, staring me down. I should just keep doing this solo forever. Thank you so much to Zero Key Wolf for tossing in 669. Nice. 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 And then and followed then. immediately thereafter by Airwolf tossing in $50 into the tip jar. Good God. I swear to God I might be doing a shot of moonshine tonight. We'll see, but this show cannot run past 6.30 p.m. Pacific time today because I'm heading to a birthday party after this and I can't be late for that one. No, it's not mine. That one's happening later this month. But holy cow, you guys, thank you so much for so much support. And we're not even through the first. We just finished the first half hour. It's absolutely nuts. And 
And once again, welcome to all the newcomers. Thank you so much for helping in our push to make it to Twitch Partner here. Stick around for at least half an hour because the second hour on this show is always all new music stuff released in the last week. The Avian Invasion welcomes you. And Hybrid 666 Wolf has spent those little eggs, those seeds of awesomeness you can see down to the bottom of the chat for uh, an Ask Me Anything. Hybrid loves the guitar, but is curious. Does one of your songs have a saxophone riff? Uh, not to my knowledge. <laughs> well, here's the thing. It's not like I've written parts for every one of these songs that I play keys behind. I just improvise. So if you got yourself a saxophone, well, then any song can have a saxophone riff. Just make it happen. And speaking of making it happen, uh, Ash... I am not gonna. I'm not gonna pronounce that one correctly. We're just gonna say Ash just donated another thirteen thirty-seven, and thank you so much for pushing that line so far already. I'm gonna shut up and play the music now. You are alive. You are beautiful. You are not alone. Free your mind. $170 already, and that was only about 10 bucks in when we started this show. Oh, make that more like $195. We've almost gotten to 200 solid bucks just in the span of the first half hour here. Thank you, Ispa. Thank you so very much. I'm so sad I'm not going to get to see you in Dallas this year.
Oh my goodness, Electrofer just tossed in another 42-42. A doubly auspicious number. We're to, we're to 237 and change. Holy cow. We're now a quarter of the way towards a moonshine shot. I might regret having made this promise in the first place. Of course... As Wildcard9 says, open beak, insert foot. No, in this case, it's going to be open beak, insert incredibly flammable liquors. Normally, we try to keep it to sakis and meads and other low-gravity things, but hey, if we make it to four figures on that tip jar goal, it's going to be some moonshine. Say it now 
All right, so we got a new poll going on here, and uh, it's definitely not to be taken seriously. But it is to be taken in the next five minutes. Cast your vote now at avianinvasion.com slash live. And no, Pup Casey, there actually is no Kirkland signature, my lord. I just wanted to put that image in your heads. But I can't imagine it would be good. So with the taste of that wonderful, wonderful Camelot mead still in my beak, I now consider myself something like uh, oh, the artist here, a bee hunter. I want more mead. Funny looking double O is asking, what kind of bird are you? Well, uh, part bird, part robot, part man. I believe that they constructed me or reconstructed me in the likeness of an osprey because they have good taste. So yeah, some of you have noticed up here. I just dropped a box up here and some of you did notice the poll. <laughs> Which is worse? 
Moonshine Malort or Costco Malort knockoff. Thankfully, that doesn't actually exist, but enough of you thought it would be terrible. So you voted for that anyway. I'll do the Brad Pitt thing and tell you what's in the box in just a moment here. But we are just a few minutes away from starting the new music hour. So brace yourselves for a uh, an hour of tracks released in the last seven days. And boy, is there some good stuff this time around. Yep, funny looking. That was a seven reference. Some of y'all are old enough to remember that one, I see. So y'all been hitting the... Uh, I've been saying y'all a lot. Hmm. My body is anticipating the moonshine, apparently. Y'all been hitting that uh, that tip jar pretty heavily in this... Uh, just in this episode. As a matter of fact, let's see where it's at right now. I think I have it set to call up. Yeah, there it is. $237. Most of it just in this episode. Of course, we're... Uh, Pushing for four grand for a, uh, a well kitted out Mac studio. And every thousand dollars into that tip jar goal, I will take a shot of either Moonshine or Malort, whatever y'all send me. The high test stuff. There is a bit of this glorious Moonshine here. I believe it's 105 proof. Yeah, it's 105 proof. They do make 130 proof versions of this stuff. But I bring this up not because I'm I'm proud of you and so happy y'all have been hitting that tip jar so hard. But the only reason we're so low in the tip jar right now is y'all busted the hell out of the last one. And guess what arrived while I was streaming? Excuse you. I wanted that camera. Thank you. That's right. It literally just got here. I haven't had a chance to mess with it yet. I was hoping it would arrive this morning so I could use it on this stream. These were available for all of about 20 minutes on Friday. They've been out of stock for uh, literally months. Made the announcement. I grabbed two of them because that's what we were fundraising for. DJ Rekka missed out on the opportunity and couldn't actually... Uh, he didn't get the email from Elgato. For some reason, I got the email and he didn't. So uh, I sold one of my two to him because I definitely want to see what his uh, his streams look like with way better optics. But yeah, the uh, the sketchy Logitech webcam you're looking at me right now through. I can't wait to see what this thing will do instead. These things have a sensor that's almost the size of a full frame sensor in them. For you camera nerds out there. And I am very, very much looking forward to seeing what kind of a difference this will make, especially during the breakfast streams on Friday morning. But I'm not going to mess with this thing right now. Right now, we're just going to get back to the music because we are almost at new music hour time. So if you ever wonder what happens once we reach that tip jar goal, I immediately go out and buy new toys for the show. So thank you so much for your support. However long it took to get those two cameras in the fridge that's keeping the sake and mead nice and cold back here. I appreciate you all for helping build this show better every week.
Ah, goodness. All right. So it is just about that time to say goodbye to Marsh temporarily and say hello to new music. Join Avian Invasion and explore the hottest new sounds in trance, progressive, and more. Every week, the new music hour begins now. That's right, we're starting out with something new from Sander Van Dorn. We got new music from Valaris, Kennedy One, uh, Rashid Ajami, Cadet, and a whole lot more. The next hour is going to be all brand new music that was uploaded just in the last week to Beatport. And remember, all of your hype trains, your bits, your cheers, and your support pay for new music legitimately every single week. So thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting each other with an ad-free experience here on Twitch. And thank you for supporting the artists. so much to twig mouse for resubscribing you've been with me for almost two straight years now and guess what my friends it's twig's birthday today so remember to apply spankings when where and how is appropriate but thank you so much for your support my friend Looking forward to sushi tonight. Thanks for the cheer there, Zero Q Wolf. Felga can fake in, and I know I'm not pronouncing that one correctly, but this is when we lose it. This is Avian Invasion. 
Station. Thank you, Fuzzy Dirt, for tossing out a gift subscription as well here in the second hour. Always remember to recycle your boxes, my friends. Friends, whether or not you have any money to spend on the show doesn't matter. You can still have fun here. Check out the little eggs at the bottom of the chat, those seeds of awesomeness. You get them just for being here. Doubly so if you're sticking around in the chat and paying attention. And you can program this bird to do all kinds of things like take random shots, shut down one of my wings, play an original track, pick up the guitar, you name it. You can fill the place with colored smoke. We're now heading over to Fran & Co., 
Uh, oh man, some of these names, I swear to God. With a state of dance. Not to be confused with that that other property. the trifecta again looks like we're getting an original track to interrupt this new music with some singing and some guitar Out of nowhere, Lederfer tossed out five gift subscriptions. Thank you so much, my friend. Spreading the love far and wide. Good God. The avian invasion welcomes you. Shit, I just saw the lights change in here. Yep, it's happened once again. All aboard the hype train. All right, I know there's some new uh, new faces in here, new names in the chat. So here's how this works. Oh my God, we're already past level one with all that. Every time a hype train starts in this channel, we take an engine shot. If we make it past level three, I'll bring you an original track. And in this case, it'll be two of them because I've already got one queued up. And any multiple of level five thereafter. Good God, we're already into level four? Holy crap. Alendrafer tossed out five gift subscriptions. Virgit Pose tossed out five. Uxevi gave out one. Uh, Zero Key Wolf and uh, Alendrafer and Wildcard Knight have been tossing out bits. Inklet's just tossed out a couple. Good Lord, the interface can't keep up. We're now into level five. I need somebody to spin the wheel of shots twice. And we're doing a double whammy once again here. Yeah, let's get this one out of the way, shall we? Man, it is taking its sweet time catching up here, but the screen does not lie. 
All right, I see we've got the uh, Mead Marion and the Chiru Chill with the first two in line. Thank you very much, Zero Key Wolf and Matt C188. And thank you to Stargazer Studios. Yeah, that's just kind of how it rolls around here. Every single time, every single time new people show up, they tend to get handed a gift subscription whether they want to or not. So, normally these are spaced out, but this is the second time this show that we have made it past level five that quickly. And there it goes. Hype train level five. Holy shit, we're into level six. Okay, so it was the Mead Marion and the Chiru Chill. Let's rack them up, shall we? If you're toasting along with me, please, please do so responsibly. Make sure you know your limits. This is why I'm toasting with Saki and not Moonshine. We save that for the tip jar goals. Holy cow, another level has gone down. What are we at? We're into level seven already. I can't, I can't even get the shots lined up fast enough. So this lovely little bottle right here with this lovely little lady on it was provided to me by the lovely and also purple Quiet Fire right here in the chat. It was a wonderful house guest over the weekend as we celebrated with Fetch Northwest in downtown Seattle at the Georgetown Ballroom. And the caboose shot, of course, is the Chiru Chill. One of the ones I picked up for myself to try out because this one comes from uh, just down I-5, I guess, in Forest Grove, Oregon. Okay, so it's a long way down I-5 and kind of off I-5 a little bit, but here's to the bullet trains, my friend. And here's to you for your enthusiasm in welcoming these newcomers. Every single time they show up, y'all go crazy. Thank you so very much for making them feel welcome and making me feel welcome as well. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, Halloween just gave out another five. We're now 60% of the way through level seven. I haven't even taken the second shot yet. So let's remedy that, shall we? <laughs> Cheers to all of you who have your minds open. Because it's not every day that you see some random robotic bird creature DJing on Twitch and say like, yeah, that's totally what I'm into. But thank you for sticking around. Thank you for staying around. And thank you for helping me push towards partner here on Twitch. It's been a wild ride since the beginning of the year. So cheers to you for getting on board that bullet train with us. Ah, there we go. So about three minutes left in this hype train, but it's time for two original tracks. Jackal W404 wanted to shut one of my wings down, but we got some key touring to do first. I'll get to that as soon as I can. Don't you worry. So at this point, the hype train continues. We're, uh, we're just about two-thirds of the way through level seven with two and a half minutes left, but it's time for... An Avian Invasion Original. This is a track off my original EP, my debut EP called Children of the Stars, which you can get for free at avianinvasion.com slash join. Minutes remain. We are all the same. Embers lifted by the flame. Stark against the night, dancing in each other's light. Holding on with all our might Cause we are not there yet That 
That's his 60 second warning. Synchronized Captured by each other's eyes Strip away my fears Hold my face and dry my tears We can be the dreams we share But we are not there yet That is it for that hype train. We ended it inside a level seven. Thank you very much. Once again, that was actually due to... Oh, the reverb's still on. Hello. That was actually due to Zero Key Wolf calling out an original track. The reverb's still on. Thank you. And of course, Twig Mouse calling for some singing and some guitar. But of course, we also broke level three on that hype train for it's time for another one. An avian invasion original. This is one off the upcoming new album called Into the Trees. This is Moonlight Rendezvous from yours truly. And thank you so very much for so much support just in the last hour. We got plenty more coming.
fluctuation detected, shutting down non-essential systems. If you want to know when that album's coming out and you want to get a whole free EP along with it, a six song EP called Children of the Stars, join me at avianinvasion.com slash join. I'm itching to get this album out to the public. The people of Earth need to hear this. But for now, we're heading back into the new music hour with a little something from Naruto. Not, not that Naruto. That one. This is surreal.
I can still taste that meat marion in my mouth. Oh, the beak is turning purple with every one of those shots, I swear. Too many more of those and I'll just be purple like Andraconics. Well, okay, like her bike anyway. Invasion. Shutting down non-essential systems. All right, apparently we're going for the other wing now. Big thanks to Lisa Fritz. You missed the hype train, but you're dragging along behind it, running as fast as you can to catch up to what was absolutely a rocket train earlier. Thank you for getting on board for another month. a little over halfway through the new music hour and there's still plenty more to go so make yourselves at home grab yourself something cool to drink whether that's water or whatever the heck you've been feeding me for a while now
It's been a cacophony of sakis and meads, and it has been absolutely wonderful. A journey of flavor. Much like we're taking a journey through brand new Progressive House, this is Kennedy One with To Be With You. Got a new poll here in the chat at avianinvasion.com slash live. Do you actually like Malort? Some of y'all don't even know what it is, do you? Be glad. Oh, Takala Mackerwolf loves Malort as a way of tormenting this bird. Well, we're going to need something uh, once we reach that first thousand. Because once we hit at least the first thousand towards the tip jar goal, there's only a shot of this moonshine left in here. And we're going to need three more. it over now to cadet with space that seems pretty on brand doesn't it you are alive you are beautiful you are not alone free your mind Anything. 
Moving on with that poll, you can vote at avianinvasion.com slash live. And it looks like most of you are not a fan of Malort, which is statistically likely. But a surprising amount of you are so far. Of course, there's still about like three or four minutes left to vote. So we will see how this one falls. Time for little Diana Miro singing to Christoph and Frankie Waugh's Darkest Hour.
from Polaris, this is Hand of God.
When you entirely let go of all attached emotions and pain, and let the music transcend you to a higher frequency and vibration, you will finally be able to reach up and touch the hand of God. Furry, furry photos interpretation of that last one right here in the chat. We're nearing the end of the second hour here, which is just fine because we have one more track for the new music hour, but this is not where the show ends, not remotely. We're still over 100 viewers, so I'm going to push this one as uh, far as I can go. Got a hard stop at 6.30 like every day, uh, every Wednesday. In this case, it's for a birthday party had a sushi bar so i love y'all and i'm out of here at 6 30. uh but there's one last track a jerome ismae remix which is always good this is rashida jami and harun hickman with let's be free
that's going to do it for the second hour. And that's it for the new music. Thank you once again for all of your your bits and your subscriptions. It pays for new music every single show, a solid hour of new tracks. If you want to know what it is you heard and you weren't paying attention to the lower left here, join me at avianinvasion.com slash Spotify. The whole set list will be posted uh, usually an hour or two after the show is done. to origami and anybody else for whom it's a little too late but it's only five o'clock just barely past quitting time here in the emerald city 
I'm going to go till 6.30 if uh, y'all stick around. And then it's fishes and special Mai Tais. Oh, yes.
kicking it over to some Andrew Bayer right now. And thank you all for sticking around, by the way. We've been doing a lot longer shows as of late. Started out with just two-hour shows, and once we started, you know, actually coming within striking distance of making Twitch Partner, uh, I've just been going until you guys get tired, and it turns out you guys don't get tired. You might be the enemy yet. But what a way to go, huh? So we're continuing on with this episode of the Progressive Birdhouse. As long as you can stand the music. Of course, I do want to thank you guys once again for the incredibly generous outpouring earlier in the stream, taking us from just a couple of bucks up to, uh, well, almost a quarter of the way towards that first moonshine shot. Well on our way to grabbing a, a proper studio machine instead of my years old Hackintosh that's been slogging through the music making process. So thank you once again for everything that you guys do. I still can't believe this is what I get to do for a living. One of these days, it'll actually just become like normal for me. But I'm pretty sure it'll take a thousand years for that to happen. much eagle beagle for resubscribing glad to have you with me once again 34 months you're coming up on three years bless you my tiny half bird friend oh and Ciala as well thank you for tossing one out to one of the newcomers it looks like marquesa music catching that one right in the numbers That was a sports ball reference, by the way.
Oh, I just saw the lights change once again. Oh, are we really doing this a third time? Apparently we are. All aboard the hype train. Okay, once again, unto the uh, the sake brewery, my friends. Somebody do me a favor and spin that wheel. In the meantime, for those that have just tuned in, every time a hype train starts on this channel, we start with an engine shot. If we make it past... <laughs> Thank you, Eagle Beagle, for hugging Lumia's dream. Sometimes it needs it. If we make it past level three, I'll play you another original track. And if we make it past any multiple of level five, there's a caboose shot to follow. Looks like that first shot is going to be the Camelot Mead once again, courtesy of Ciala spinning that wheel. Of course, if we make it past level 10, we'll throw the pirate song in there. I'll even sing along with it. But for now, we're starting out with the Camelot Mead. So if you are the toasting type, now's the time to grab your shot glasses. In the meantime, let's see how far we can push this train. Oh, it looks like we're into level two right now. Oh, Lumia Stream is lagging behind. Eagle Beagle, what did you do? You hugged it. You gave it confidence. I'm telling you, the robots don't like us. <laughs> but I know Pup Casey likes me because Pup Casey sent me this glorious bottle of freshly squeezed bee juice. And who boy, are we coming close to killing this one? This is like one shot, one more shot after this one away from being drained already. Oh, and down goes another level. We're in level three now, already more than halfway through it. Thank you so much to uh, Kagato75 for tossing out five gift subscriptions. So here's our first toast before we uh, make it to the caboose already. This is the first. There's been three trains so far. This is the first time I've been able to pour one shot at a time. So here's to those that persevere. Those that are struggling right now and keeping a smile on their face, even reaching out to help those who may be doing even worse. Somebody is thinking about you right now, even if it's just me. And I know that you're going to make it. So cheers to you, my friends, for carrying that torch until somebody else can carry it further for you. Oh my goodness, I swear to God, Pup Casey, if they have this thing, they have this Camelot Mead at Total Wine, I'm picking up a bottle for myself. Unless more of this ends up in my box. But I digress. So how far will this third hype train go? Who knows? But you guys have pushed it into level three already. You're only a quarter of the way towards grabbing another original track. No matter what happens, though, Thank you so much for your support. The music will continue no matter how far the train goes. Matter of fact, it's time for some shadows. Oh my goodness, Blackfoot Ferret tossed in a subscription and Airwolf cheered uh, 100 bits. Uh, actually, uh, several hundred bits. Uh, 902PE Gaming tossed some in. Really grooving on the music and the aesthetic. Keep doing what you do, they say. Well, thank you very much. We're now into level four, which means the next track after this one's going to be an Avian Invasion original.
So we have, in fact, made it into level four. Not too far into level four. With just about three minutes left on that clock. And about an hour left in the show here. Actually, yeah, less than an hour left in the show, which means this will be the last train before I completely stuff myself from beak to talons with fish filling in the cracks with my tie. It's not even my birthday and I'm celebrating like that. Because let me tell you, this place has good mackerel. And that's practically a religion among my people. So two minutes left on the clock. Keep dancing, my friends. seconds till that train pulls into its last station for the night. Kagato 75 tosses out five more and the clock is reset. We have just started on level five. I'm not sure how deep into it we are. How close we are to that caboose shot. But I will tell you this, it's time for an avian invasion original. This is something that's going off, uh, going off, going on to the next album. A little track called We Are One from yours truly. Oh, it looks like we're 17% of the way in with four and a half minutes back on that clock. That's plenty of time for another toast. But once again, even if we don't make it to another shot, I can't thank you enough for all the support.
With two minutes left, we're still only 17% of the way through level five. This may be a one shot train, my friends. But well, that's all right, we got corgis. We are not the same, but we are not that different. We are not afraid, for we are one. We are one. Oh, I just saw another explosion happen. Yes, Wildcard 9 has tossed out five more, pushing us over the edge. Hype Train, level five. Holy cow, my friends, that's three in one show again. Holy, oh my goodness, that's a lot of subscriptions. We, uh, with the clock is now reset and we're in level six, but that means it's time for a caboose shot. Pup Casey spun the wheel already and we're hitting, heading to Mura Mountain. So do me a favor, my friends. Pour yourself something hot if you're in the frigid temperatures or cold if you're lucky enough to be in the southern hemisphere right now. Whether you're drinking something boozy or just drinking something refreshing, let's do a toast, shall we? Avian invasion. Oh, I'm sorry, Tiny Corgi. You have to move now. Don't want to flatten the Corgo friends here. Join me on a journey to Mura Mountain. Well, thank you, 902 PE Gaming, for tossing in a little bit more. That train gets harder and harder to move every with every new level. And I thank you so much for trying your hardest. We head now into the unfiltered hills of Japan. Which means I have to shake this first here. And once again, thank you guys so much for getting me into sakis. When I first started doing this, I had scotch and whiskey and that sort of thing for the hype train shots, not realizing that you would be making me drink a lot. A lot. The connection. So here's to those of you brave enough to broaden your palates, broaden your horizons. Try new things once in a while. You never know what you might like. It won't be Malort. I guarantee you that. But to those who choose to experiment rather than sit comfortably inside the familiar, cheers to you. $25 a total wine. I'm pretty sure what they mean is they will give you $25 to take it off their hands. 90 seconds left on this hype train. It sort of coasted into level six, but holy cow, the fact that it went there three times now. It's not just 
is still absolutely mind-boggling. It's about the people. If you did find yourself with an unexpected gift subscription, by the way, make sure you connect your Discord account to Twitch and head over to avianinvasion.com slash Discord. Go. We got the last 30 seconds. That is it for that hype train. We ended it inside level six once again. Oh my goodness. Thank you so very much for choosing to believe in this little bird and his message of peace, love, unity, respect, bird. Blurb. Behind that caboose, candy corn x cutie corn. <laughs> That's a hard one to read. But thank you so very much for resubscribing here. Holy cow. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for your support.
my goodness, we've got like a mini hype train happening after the hype train. Thank you, Anoki Griffin, for sticking around, making it a solid 20 months. Oh my goodness, thank you very, very much, my friend.
right, now that I know he's actually driving on his way here, we're going to start a poll here. Uh, since it's his birthday, uh, should we spank Twig Mouse at sushi tonight? The answers, of course, are yes, no, or hell yes. So please let me know at avianinvasion.com slash live. I hope to God he doesn't actually have this on in the car right now. It's okay, it's a Tesla. It'll drive itself here anyway. I have absolutely no idea. No idea whatsoever whether or not we're uh, <laughs> we're going to be allowed to do such things in a restaurant, but they do love us there. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll just pour so many special Mai Tais into him that he'll think he was spanked. Now nah, we're going to do it. <laughs> As Falcon can confirm, they'll let you. Oh, yeah. Michelle will probably join in. She's one of the owners. Looks like Corona Wolf is thinking ahead. Calling the raid for My Name is Nyad. Looks like we're heading to some techno after this. Thank you, by the way, to Pub Casey for tossing in 100 bits. I will definitely enjoy the sushi tonight. It's always good at Akiki. And Ms. Art the Everlasting has spent those seeds of awesomeness, those little eggs at the bottom of the chat. For a shout out saying getting kinky in public sure is fun. Well, I mean, at least until the cops arrive. I don't know. 
Birthday spankings aren't exactly kinky, but they could be. that you're now rating restaurants on how good of spankings they give. Yeah, Hofbrau House uh, up in Rosemont, Illinois. Was, they were very good. You know, not not wimpy, not not exactly like, you know, they're actually trying to uh, liquefy your ass, but it, it, they had a nice, like, pap to it. Nice and loud for the crowd at the uh, German Beer Hall. And yes, they did replace Hofbrau with a tiki bar that we will never set foot in because just like a ah, Mai Tai was like $25. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't care where you're located. No.
I'll be damned. We could made it back in time for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> She's helping out at Emerald City Comic Con here in Seattle this weekend, so she was out setting up for that. But you made it back here. And you joined me. Oh, thank you very much. You want some fish? Yeah, you want to get some fish? We had a little poll here earlier as to whether we should spank Twig at the sushi place. I'll give you three guesses how that poll ended up. Pretty much 80% voted hell yes. Of the three choices, there was no yes and hell yes. Pretty sure it went for it. So. In any case, as you heard, we got about 20 minutes left in this show before we have to get ready to head out for some sushis. And now we have bonus bird for the rest of it. So you, you can stop looking at, you know, my tall drink of water body and stare at the beautiful beak. Thank you, Chrono Wolf. Two beautiful burbs. Or Chrono Wolf has been drinking the hard liquor along with the hype train shots and is just seeing two of you. <laughs> bonus shot for bonus bird. Riley's choice. All right. I do not have a straw down here. She got to go get a straw. You see, when the robot birds rebuilt me, they made it possible for me to drink normal things. My beak is specially adapted to earthling drinking vessels. Alrighty, my friend, it is your choice. You know what's in the liquid vault down here. Oh man, we may actually polish off the Camelot mead. Sorry, Pup Casey. We're murdering this one quickly. Freshly squeezed bee juice for the win. Let's see if we can even get two shots out of this. Yes, Pup Casey, she does in fact love your mead. That makes two of us. Poor hers first here because she's been working hard all day, and I've just been sitting here making thumping noises. Oh, 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 and that is all of it, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to take one out of the rotation. And that is one bottle down, my friends. Would you put that in the bin for me? Thank you once again, Pub Casey. It was fun while it lasted, but. We have murdered it, so. Cheers to you, my friend, for making it back here in one piece, braving downtown Seattle. And cheers to all of you for making the last three and a half hours absolutely amazing. Cheers. This 
Well, we got a shout out uh, from Kai uh, Fierro here saying they're willing to take suggestions from the viewers. Now, granted, you only got 10 minutes to give those suggestions. Looking for a fursuit maker to make a mini partial of uh, their uh, uh, Kai the Illusion Husky. With a budget of about $1,700. So, if any of y'all got any suggestions and want to toss them their way, I'd suggest whispering uh, whispering to Kai because as soon as this chat goes away, so will all of your suggestions. But you can also toss it out in the chat if you'd like to. In the meantime, thank you to that other guy for suggesting some guitar. And thank you, of course, to Chrono Wolf for suggesting some singing here in the last 10 minutes of the show. There's really only one thing I got that I can sing to that's remotely close to that key. So hopefully this one isn't getting old for you. There was a time, there was a place, there was fear inside, a witty line to save my face, the parachute of pride, to cross the line takes a tiny step, but will the spark cause the bridge to burn, my fear entwined with my regret, I'll be your path for safe return.
Uh, hello, welcome, Kemi the Grass Al Ga- uh, 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 DJ, which was German for Kemi the Grass Gal DJ. Welcome to the last literal five minutes of the show. We got a hard stop at 6.30 p.m. this time around because we're going out to celebrate a friend's birthday, not just anywhere at a sushi joint with a rock and tiki bar. So, yeah, we're out of here in about five minutes. But thank you all so much for tuning in for the last three and a half hours. She appreciates it. Appreciates it. Wow, I can't speak now. What was in the mead? And they want to start giving me moonshine. Good lord. my friends with that it is time for us to head out of here but thank you once again for the last three and a half hours of amazing amazing vibes thank you for your friendship your support and of course for actually caring about good music week after week after week i'll be back friday morning it'll be in a slightly different place but you go to the same url avianinvasion.com slash live 
We're doing the early bird breakfast at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And until then, it's time to leave you with the giant robot voice once again. Thank you for listening. This show only exists because of dedicated patrons like these. If you want to hear more, the invasion needs you at avianinvasion.com slash Patreon. Look for Avian Invasion on Spotify, Mixcloud, YouTube, and everywhere dance music is sold, streamed, or enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, Bird One reminds you that you are alive, you are beautiful, and you are not alone.